everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Seppi and in today's video I've got quite a fun idea. I thought I would get you guys to send me in your confessions anonymously and we would read through them together here on my channel and we can also have a little chat if people are asking kind of for advice on their confessions. We can have a little chat in the comments and um, the people who sent in the confessions can kind of here and get some advice from me and you guys. So if you guys don't want to miss out on sending in your submissions for videos like this, then please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It is Persian Bunny. And make sure you hit the like button and subscribe now for more fun videos. Also, if you have any other ideas for fun videos in mind, then please just let me know in the comments down below. So the first confession is, I got in a fight with Bay, so I scratched his new sunglasses and made him think he did it. <laughs> that's a bit pass ag. Um, that's quite funny though, I'm not gonna lie. How did you scratch the sunglasses? Are they now unwearable? And how guilty do you feel about this? Because, I don't know, I feel like with me, if I did that, I'd feel so guilty that I'd end up being honest. Like, I've accidentally scratched, like, my sister's, like, bags or something. And then, like, I literally have to ultimately, like, tell them straight away because I feel so guilty. But I think, in this case, I'm, like, kind of wondering, like, you just made him think he did it. Is that because you felt too shy? Or is that because you just didn't care, like YOLO? That's quite funny though. Um, next one says, I've fallen for slash in love with my boss. Work and relationship don't mix, question mark. We're a small team. He was interested at first and pulled back, pulled back later. Now he's not ready for a relationship. Oh, okay. So falling for someone at work, I think is such a tricky one because I've never like dated someone from like my school or university or from work so I haven't like had that experience but from what I would imagine it's so hard because you're constantly in each other's face so if you were to date and then it wouldn't work out we're a small team so if things didn't work out it'll be quite difficult because you know you can't really avoid him because there's so many there's only so many other people that you could talk to so that would be yeah a bit of a sticky one still if you want to find out if he actually like likes you then i guess the best way is to start showing someone else some attention in front of him not from work but like oh just start talking about some random guy he doesn't even have to be real um just be like oh yeah like just started talking to this guy and blah blah, blah. but like not to him that's too obvious start talking about it to like someone else when you know he can hear and just see like how he reacts because if he reacts jealous, then it means he likes you and maybe he's just doing the, the right thing by being more professional and waiting till one of you changes jobs to like ask you out. Um, so yeah, see how that goes and let, let me know in the DMs. One, I'm getting a lot of relationship confessions there. I like someone and I think he likes me, but we could never be together because of different religions. So this is actually such a tough one because I've even, you know, seen it or experienced it where you might not be particularly religious, but the other person might be religious and their family wouldn't be, accept, be able to accept someone who's not from their religion. And it's so hard. I think if you think there's no way of you guys having a future and you're not in a relationship yet, I would personally say maybe protect yourself and your feelings. But if you both really, really like each other and you think that like you could fight it out through whatever, then go for it. Because I think if you, if you really like someone and you really love them, then nothing would really stand in the way. Um, mm yeah but it does make life so much more difficult if um you from the start have problems like my dad and i filmed this re relationship advice video together and he said this thing that really stuck to me and he was like if from if the foundation isn't strong and then you're trying to build on top of that whatever whatever you build will always collapse so starting with a strong foundation would be that you know you both have you know some some sort to some level your baseline should be some in common so either you both aren't religious and don't care um about the other's religion or you're both religious and from the same religion if that makes sense so i think that my dad is really sorry if you can hear sounds by the way sign is moving around furniture as i'm filming this video which is really annoying um but yeah i feel like he's definitely right in that sense like you guys 
for a, for a good relationship to start off and have a, have a good chance, it needs to have a strong foundation. So you need to have the same mentality towards certain things, in my opinion. Um, or at least if you both want to just go for it, then you both need to have that mentality that you just want to go for it and nothing will stop you. I don't know if I really answered that or not, but I think I did. Um, so next one says, I always want the guy I can't have. Is that even a confession? Haha. <laughs> um, I think that's a confession. With me, I feel like whenever I like a guy or start to like someone, he could have even been the one to like me first. But as soon as I like start to like him back, he like stops liking me. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess don't always like overthink it if someone doesn't like you back maybe don't show your feelings straight away and play it out like that and see just how it goes like just by like hanging out or talking to each other um yeah not everything always needs to start off like oh we both like each other it could just start off as like friends and then um progress into something further if you're both on the same page i think that's the best advice i could give so the next confession says, I got a boyfriend to make my ex jealous. <laughs> um, I don't think that's the best idea, not because of anything to do with your ex-boyfriend, but mainly because of you. I think if you're still thinking about him and dating someone else, then whatever you're doing with this person, new person that you're dating, is not going to put you in the right headspace at all. It's not going to give you that time you need for closure from your, from your ex-boyfriend. And sometimes I think the best way to get over an ex is not to start dating someone else immediately, but really just to like allow yourself to heal from this heartbreak. I think like heartbreak can be like a literal break. Like let's say you cut your skin, like you need to allow that wound to scab over, um, you need to allow it to heal and then the skin to remodel and then soon it will go back to looking like its usual self. If not its usual self, then something very similar. And I think heartbreak's the same. So you need to allow your heart to heal and soon it will go back to, you know, you being happy again without like your ex-boyfriend and doing things to, to see a reaction for him. You should be doing things only for you, in my opinion. Oh my God. <laughs> the next confession says, my twin and I always end up going on a date with the same guy. Um, how? So do you, are you identical and you swap? Or do you like, one of you dates them and the other one's like, oh, like, how did it go? You're like, not that good. And then she's like, let me try. That is bans. That is actually hilarious. I can't imagine dating the same guy as one of my sisters. I have two sisters and I just think once my sister's going to date with someone or even likes that person, like you automatically like bro zone them. Like that's bro. You know, so that's jokes though. I, I really want to know if you like swap out, if one of you is maybe shy and wants the other one to do the talking stage. I don't know. Cause like me and my sisters, like we might like text for each other. Like, oh, let me text him. Like I'm good at texting, whatever. Um, but we would never go on the date for each other. But then again, we, we're, not, we're not twins. But you know what I mean? I just, yeah, don't know. Next confession says, I got rejected from Cambridge today. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. You know what, getting rejected from uni sucks, but it's actually their loss ultimately. You know, some of the greatest people in the world didn't go to university. Some of the greatest people in the world went to like the most random universities. So it's not always what uni you went to. And even though Cambridge is beautiful um, and a lot of smart people go there, uh, doesn't mean that you're not smart if you don't go there because there's a million other smart amazing opportunity universities out there <laughs> oh my god guys all these confessions are like love stuff okay so the next confession says don't like one of my friends but can't tell her because she's so sensitive and plays the victim first of all if you don't like her she's not your friend um in my opinion i think i like all of my friends they might irritate me at one point or another for something that happens but they don't in the long term irritate me um so yeah she's not your friend so if she's not your friend then i guess you don't need to tell her and sometimes i feel like if we don't have something nice to say we don't always have to say it and if we don't like someone we can just cut them out and it doesn't have to be like really like brutally cutting someone out i think that you can just slowly stop talking to someone and just not meet up with them and you know make excuses until they kind of get the hint that you you don't really want to hang out so like just be like oh like 
if they if they message you like let's hang out and just be like pandemic what's that girl i've forgotten her name elsa you know i would love to meet up but you know pandemic so yeah that's a great excuse right now for anyone who you don't want to talk to but you don't have to tell her that she annoys you and that you don't like her um it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything in the long run other than make you look bad and make her feel bad so no one will benefit from it I think if you if she annoys you just don't hang out with her next one says we broke up i still love him wishing him to come back going through a hard time i'm just so confused why did you break up you know i think when you first break up with someone you have to figure out why it was that you broke up like don't forget that because there's obviously ultimately a reason why the relationship broke down and as much as you will miss them and it'll be hard i think that you know there was a reason for it and you have to remind yourself of that it's always harder if you were the one who was broken up with because you might have felt like everything was fine and they had an issue with it which is really hard but obviously i think with every relationship that ends it's always a time for you to start taking care of yourself and remind yourself the only person who will make you happy is you so i would do a lot of self-care like journaling um meditating i would like read positive energy books and uh read about the law of attraction and all of that stuff because i think it really really helps you and it helps you to develop as a person and it takes your focus off of them and you can keep busy by exercising studying doing work reading watching so many shows on netflix there's more tv and youtube uh on the planet than you would ever be able to watch in your lifetime so there's a lot of distraction out there okay so the next one says i got in a relationship with a married man who is expecting a baby soon okay so first of all that that's intense i think you know when someone if they're older than you then sometimes it's almost like i would say manipulation is the wrong word but like you can get caught up in it if, if the person's older than older than you they will play you but i'm just going to be real with you that's not a relationship you know that's a lust and i think ultimately everyone involved is going to get hurt uh including you and you might think you don't care about this person and your feelings won't get hurt in which case um you're you're probably going to be wrong because you're calling it a relationship first of all and second of all if you think that this person's going to leave their wife and their new baby for you then a it might happen but b who would want someone like that who is got a pregnant wife at home and is off with with someone else who doesn't have a care in the world that's not someone you'd want i think you have yourself in a very sticky situation to say the least and you might want to you know reflect on that because i don't know i just think that's all bad vibes i have to be honest with you like that's bad energy for you for everyone involved and sometimes you know we make mistakes maybe you don't think you're making a mistake or maybe you do but sometimes we make mistakes and we we only see it afterwards or once we've told someone and they kind of talk us through it because sometimes we might get lost in a bubble we might not see that person and their life and might not be able to associate it but um try not to get lost in that bubble and try and see that ultimately everyone in this is gonna get hurt so maybe you could be the bigger person and take a step back from this and the last confession i'm gonna read is i lost my virginity at 16 i'm scared my parents will find out because we're muslims um first of all first of all i think the most important thing to think about before you think about your parents is you know how you feel about that um how do you feel about it was it an okay experience for you were you safe was it consensual on both parts um because obviously i do know that people are getting into physical relationships younger and younger these days and i think lots of people our age should look out for people who are younger and just be like you know is it what you wanted to do or um is it what you thought you had to do so that's the first thing think about yourself first and how you feel towards it your parents finding out is really you know how are they going to find out unless you say it or the person that you um or the person that you slept with says it and you know realistically i think you're freaking yourself out over something that they're not really going to know does that make sense like unless there's a really obvious way that they're going to find out 
you know, don't don't scare yourself over scenarios that haven't even happened. Um, there's a lot of times you can make up scenarios in your head and freak yourself out. So don't freak yourself out about that. But I think really you should be, you know, just thinking about how you felt towards it. If it was fine, someone that you really loved and cared about and um, it was just what felt natural and right at the time, then I think you need to not worry about what your parents thought and just be happy that like, you know, you had a nice experience. Um, if it wasn't a nice experience, then, you know, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. And maybe the reason why you're scared of your parents finding out is because you kind of really want to talk about it with someone. In which case, I think there's actually loads of helplines and charities out there um, for women and men who, you know, have been in abusive or... I'm not saying that you were in an abusive relationship or physical, like, physically. It's basically there for people who might have got into some sort of physical relationship without really wanting to and so yeah I would definitely just for anyone watching not just the person who wrote in this confession you know I'd, I would definitely urge you guys if you want to talk to someone I will link some charities down below as well but don't ever feel like you know you're on your own but yeah that was the main reason why I brought it up wanting to talk to someone is maybe you're scared of your parents finding out because you want someone to find out because it's something that you you feel like you need to get off your chest and discuss with someone um so yeah i hope that that advice was helpful i'm gonna end this video here i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below here it would mean so much to me and if you hit the like button then youtube will actually give you more videos that are similar to this that you may like so i hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to check out my socials, they're always linked down below, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny, my Snap is Seppi Samai, and my TikTok is Persian underscore Bunny. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!